Greetings artists! Today I'm going to show you how to make a notan. Notan might be a word that you haven't heard before. Notan is a Japanese word that means light and dark harmony. It's a combination of light and dark shapes that are arranged with careful placement to create interesting positive and negative space within a composition. That just means that we are arranging our shapes in a way that looks balanced. Notans are traditionally made using shapes cut from black paper that are reflected and then pasted onto white paper or vice versa. They can be made of one simple shape cut and reflected or they can get very complicated using many shapes in a complex scene. In an earlier tutorial, I showed how to make a notan using the shape of our hand. I like to teach that lesson to kindergarten and first grade, but for this lesson, we'll get just a little bit more complex. So to make your notan, you will need glue stick, a scissors, pencil, maybe a ruler, an X-Acto knife for any tiny pieces that you might want to cut. Now, this is optional, so if you don't feel comfortable using an X-Acto knife or if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You'll also need one sheet of black paper and one sheet of white paper. One of these pieces of paper will need to be cut into quarters or a half size sheet. I usually cut the black sheet into smaller shapes and use the white sheet as my background, but it can be the other way around. Now the premise behind a notan is that every single shape that is cut from our paper today needs to be reflected or flipped and then glued down to our larger background sheet. Every single piece that we cut will get used and what's left of our quarter sheet will get glued down as well. The design that you make can be abstract or you can try to create a picture. For your first notan, it might be a good idea to stick with geometric or organic shapes and an abstract design. We can call this our practice piece. It's good to practice because sometimes your finished project doesn't look how you envisioned that it would after your shapes are cut and reflected and pasted down. It's a good idea to lay out all of your shapes before you glue anything down to make sure that they fit. This is where you may need to adjust some of your shapes by moving them to one side or the other or turning your rectangle diagonally as I did here. After you've laid out your center shape, you need to reflect your other shapes around it. What do I mean by reflecting shapes? The easiest way to do this is to put all of your pieces back together like a puzzle. Your cut shapes should fit inside the rectangle that they were cut from. Then you simply open them outward like a door. It's very important to glue your largest shape first and your smaller shapes around it. If you glue your smaller shapes first, you'll probably find that your center shape doesn't fit anymore. If you're going to try to make a more complicated scene or a picture, it's a good idea to sketch out your shapes before you cut them out of paper. We don't want to draw any details on our notan. Any details need to be cut from paper. Even though we don't want pencil lines visible on our notan, it's a good idea to lightly sketch the lines that you want to cut along before you make any cuts on your paper. Sometimes I also sketch out what I want my finished notan to look like before I start making any cuts, especially designs like this that have a lot of details. Keeping track of some of the smaller shapes can be a challenge, and picking them up can be difficult as well. A tweezer is pretty handy for this. I use my X-Acto knife to cut my tiniest pieces, and I usually wait to cut the smallest pieces until I've cut out my larger shapes. Sometimes I even wait until I've started gluing my larger shapes to cut out those finest details. If you don't feel comfortable using the X-Acto knife, you might want to stick to larger shapes that are easier to navigate with a scissors. So just a few things to keep in mind before you start today. Number one, when you cut your shapes, it's going to be easier to figure out where they will be glued if you cut them from a single side edge. 
and avoid cutting them from the corner of the paper. Number two, your composition will look more interesting if you cut at least one or two larger shapes that cross over the center line. Avoid cutting only tiny shapes around the side edges that leave a large inner square. We need to make sure that we are thinking about breaking up our space in an interesting way. You can cut new shapes out of the shapes that you've already cut, but remember to reflect them accordingly. Once again, there are no scraps in this project, so every shape that you cut needs to be glued down. Oh, and one last tip. I would not try to make letters, numbers, or words for this project. That usually doesn't work out very well. When it's finally time to glue all of these pieces down, I recommend using a glue stick. School glue is watery and it tends to make your papers crinkle. However, when I completed this notan, I noticed that my glue stick left a colored residue on my white paper and I wound up painting over that with gouache. Chances are good you may not have white gouache, so to keep this from happening, you could try using Mod Podge instead of glue. I applied my glue directly to my background. I think if I had applied glue to each piece individually, I would have had better results. But since my pieces are so small, I was worried that my paper would tear. I'm still learning too, so if you have any ideas for keeping paper clean while gluing, I'd love for you to leave a comment below. With more advanced notans like this one, occasionally I cheat just a little bit. Maybe I'll put a shape somewhere other than where it would naturally fall when it's reflected. This means that the composition will no longer be entirely symmetrical, but that often leads to a more pleasing composition if things are just a little bit out of order. In this composition, I move my chicken down slightly and I put this chicken in a nest. When I cut it out, the feet tore off of the body, so I use them as tracks in the barnyard instead. The chicks are in the nest. Up here they're following mama. And the nest itself was actually a bush or maybe a sheep behind that fence. Notice how my clouds are slightly off center. And this one was reflected, but it was also turned upside down. You can try reflecting your shapes on the farthest edge of your rectangle, as I've done with my bowl. I also moved my fence away from my barn. The original shape was cut from underneath the barn. For this piece, I chose to cut shapes only from the sides of my rectangle. There's nothing reflected on the top or the bottom. Even though the chicken is slightly lower than the fence line and the clouds rise slightly above the black sky. I also made sure to leave the same amount of space on either side of the picture and along the top and bottom edges. See if you can notice any other changes that I made. And when you get done watching this video, check out other examples of Notans online. Eventually, envisioning how your finished Notan will look becomes like second nature. You will understand how your shapes will look when they're flipped and reflected before you cut anything from paper. The first three or four Notans that I made were pretty basic, but after that, I really started playing around with cutting shapes from other shapes, with placing my quarter squares diagonally, and with using my X-Acto knife. I came up with some really nice compositions, and I had a ton of fun creating designs that emphasize shapes instead of color. So go ahead, give it a try. I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you'd like to share your finished Notan with me, you can tag me on Instagram at sketching underscore spot, or you can contact me through my website, sketchingspot.com, and send an email. This project is supported in part by a grant from the North Dakota Council on the Arts, which receives funding from the state legislature and the National Endowment for the Arts. A special thank you to the council for sponsoring videos from artists and residents like myself. If you would like to see more video tutorials or learn more about the Artist in Residence program, you can go to their website. I'll list a link in the description below. If you had fun making your Notan today, make sure you share this project with your friends. 
and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sketching Spot, so that we can keep making art projects together. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers!